We're back, and it's day three. She practiced that off camera. <laughs> she really did. Baby wants a new spin. Baby wants a broken heart. Hey, gotta be professional. All right. Can you grab uh, the day three whiskey? Yeah, sure. Out of the box? Out of the box. I'm trying. Oh, wrong direction. Ah. I can't find it. Do you yeah, have it? There's not one in there because. <laughs> <coughs> Thanks. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't know if I, I can't remember if I spilled one or not because, like, to do all these calendars, it was like 1,550. Nip bottles, 50 milliliter bottles, and I know I spilled one or two, but like we only got 61. So I don't know if if they cheated us <laughs> or if I spilled one because I, I seem to remember spilling some other ones and we still were able to get yeah enough. And it's a bad day when, when you're that close on mm. filling everybody's orders. But anyway, so... That just meant you had to buy something. I did. I have to, uh, this was on my dime. <laughs> I did have to go out and buy another bottle of it. So you want to tell them what we got? Uh, we have Basil Hayden. <laughs> Hayden. <laughs> Sorry. Toast. Wow. <laughs> hey, Brown Suntory, if you're looking for a brand ambassador, <laughs> someone to... Uh, Stop. Schlep your... <laughs> Slap your product here. You're gonna have to move this because I can't see you. Um, right there, <laughs> she'd be a great band a brand ambassador for Basil Hodden <laughs> toast. All right, well, stop making fun right. of me. Go ahead, you can pour. All right, so new, new whiskey this year. Those of you with us last year, you know, we had um, Elijah Craig toasted barrel. So, toasted barrels. Are becoming kind of a new thing for some producers like Mictors has been doing it for a while um, but basically it's a lighter finish on the inside of the barrel it's supposed to bring out different flavor components yada yada um, we'll see if it does that or not um, they put like a, a new bigger uh, basil Hodden Hayden <laughs> belt buckle on there this year um, but the thing that's kind of interesting about this one is, if you remember from yesterday, talked about your typical mash bills, the cereal grains that you find in whiskeys are usually barley, corn, rye, some oats. But this one is brown rice. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. That's a surprise. <gasps> Educational. I know. See, and, and you think I share everything <laughs> with no. Anne. Hmm. So with this whiskey, Brown, um, or Beam, I'm sorry, Beam <laughs> Suntory, um, substituted what typically you'd find rice in your bourbon. I'm sorry. How many have we done in a row now? Just <laughs> two. This two. is number three. Typically, yeah, Hank and I were pre-gaming a little bit. <laughs> okay. um, typically, you'd find rye, so a high rye bourbon. So it has to have fifty-one, at least 51% corn to be a bourbon. Um, it does not have to be made in Kentucky, Morgan's, to be considered a bourbon. Uh, just 51% of the mash bill. So this one is 63% corn, 23 or 27% brown rice which typically in in beam would be rye and then the last 10 percent is malted barley so you're always you're almost always going to find malted barley in your mash bill because we're going to geek for a second malted barley provides the highest diastatic power which convert is an enzyme which converts the starches in your grains to sugars which then the yeast eat to create your alcohol so Rye has good diastatic power as well, but that's why you always will find malted barley. And malted barley is actually pretty expensive compared to corn. Yeah. Um, so, you know, if you have a high malted barley, which we, no, we don't have any of those later. Um, probably more expensive mash bill. But anyways, so brown rice instead of rye. Um, 
a lot of distillers in their ooh. it's sweet yeah super sweet yeah not in a bad way but <clears throat> just unexpected yeah a lot of times when you make your mash bill you can use rice hulls not the actual rice grains but the hulls of them in your mash bill so as you're doing your cook when you're sparging and you're draining out your wort which you're then going to um, ferment and distill the rice hulls create like this kind of space like a honeycomb and allow uh, more of the liquid or your wort to drain out but this is i don't know why i'm telling you that but this is not that this is actually like rice in, Get a little geeky. in the mash but yeah, yeah yeah all right just go to the nose then okay well, i Wow, it's like, smells quite, it's very complex, I feel like. And, and I'll tell you, this but is... But in a light way. Yeah. 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 Go for it. Um, I get a little bit of honeysuckle kind of um, smell as well as... But I get brown sugar. You should, which yeah. Which is heavy. It's typical in a bourbon, but I'm going to throw but, one at you. Yeah. Red licorice. Not Twizzlers, but the yeah, other just like... just the get it. no brain. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> I have no brand. Yeah. No brand. Like, yeah, like there's Twizzlers and not Red Vines, but there's um, another one. But yeah. it's it's that to me, like that sweet. It is candy. that candy. Yep, yeah. but not over. Mm -hmm. It's not super sweet. It's just like kind of like licorice is. It's not overly. It smells really good. Yeah. So this is like a controversial bourbon. Like a lot of the people who are like bourbonistas, like Matt, turn their nose up at this. Um, Basil Hayden's is known or. Hodden's um, is known as a good entry level bourbon for people as they start their journey. So as you're further down the train tracks, um, you maybe poo poo at this one a little bit. Yeah. But you're you're already in. I am. What do you got? I was curious. Um, I get honey. I'm surprised that it's um oil as oily as it feels. Not in a bad bad way, but. Um, and there's no burn on the back. Yeah. Uh, so for me, I, the 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 taste didn't deliver on the nose. No. No, I'm feeling a little let down. I mean, yeah. I, I think, think it's a good entry whiskey for some. Oh people. yeah, yeah. But I think I'm getting why, and I'm not a bourbonista. I, I am. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's on the nose. It's a little more promising, but. Like the dominant, the dominant flavor I'm getting is like a green tea, almost like a eucalyptus hmm. from like the mid palate all the way back. See, I feel that that's more minty to me. Wasn't eucalyptus like mint? Yeah, I guess so. But you don't really, you, yeah. I don't know. I'm asking. No, I'm just saying you don't really eat eucalyptus. It's more of a... Something that you smell. If I was a panda, a, you would eat it. I'd but be you're not a panda. But, but you're not a panda. I'm kind of a huggy bear. <laughs> Pandas are badasses, man. Oh yeah, yeah. they are. They don't they're look rough like and it, tough. but they're badasses. <laughs> um, yeah, it's got a spicy finish to it. Yeah. Um, it's it's kind of on that on the top of Niagara Falls in the back there. You can really kind of feel it. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I like it. Do you? Yeah, I do. Hmm. I don't know. It's, it, I don't know it's, it's messing it's, with me a little bit. It's like it feels candy. festive it's, to me. Uh, I can see that because I was going to say it's candy sweet. Yeah. And then spice. It's like holiday time. Yeah. This is a whiskey. I really wonder what it would be like because this is, um, where's my notes? Uh, this is 40 horsepower. Um, so 80 proof. So bottom bottom of what you can be i wonder what this would be at like a 46 or 50 i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i wish i had that answer for you <laughs> you guys should hire a brand ambassador right there there you go she'd be like so what do you think i don't know <laughs> but i like it it's all that matters Yeah. Yeah. Not my favorite. Still good. Yeah, it's real. Yep. It's kind of, I don't know. 
It's sweeter, so that's I think why maybe you don't like it. As I'm much. so sweet on my own. I don't yep. need more. But no, yep. it's just it's thin. The finish is thin. It doesn't really want me. You know, it's not driving me to want to come back for more. Um, now I'm I'm glad you like it because I'm now I'm less happy with myself that I had to go buy another <laughs> bottle of it because this one's fifty bucks. Like yeah. of the three whiskeys we've had in the last three days, Abelor twelve. Uh, JMO cask, and then this one. This is the highest price of the three, and I'd I'd put it third. Yeah. Where would you put it? Mm, I'd put it second, I think. Yeah. I do think that brings up a good point. I think starting tomorrow at day four. Yeah. I think we're going to establish. No, no, we'll wait four, five, six. We'll wait to day six, and then we're going to establish our favorite whiskey. So far. So far. And then each okay. day it'll be, does this whiskey take the place of our favorite yeah. whiskey? It's like so whiskey to, king of the hill. Yeah. I'm going to have to use my tasting notes then. Yeah, we got to books. find the extra yeah. books. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we ship 60 of these, 62 of yeah. these out. And we're uh, in the midst of doing a little renovation. That's why we're up here this year instead of down in the... Uh, the basement um but yeah i f totally forget where i was going with that yeah but anyways we will at day six yeah. we'll have our favorite whiskey and then so far through the calendar we'll see if something unseats it um but if i were to, to through the first three rounds we could do it now because we've done one of each yeah what would yours be um i think this you're wrong yeah <laughs> so wrong i don't know but jay i'm a big jameson yeah too i i'm might be a tie I'd, I'd JMO cast for me. Yeah. Through round one. Yeah. Being the lead. 25 bucks. There you go. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, shout out. You got one? Um, I don't. How about you? Oh, man. <laughs> What's this whiskey? And it's a bourbon. Kind of on, on the surface, on the nose, it really kind of is promising. Then the more you get into it, a <laughs> little disappointing. And then at the end, you're like, what the hell? So, Brian, I'm going to give you a shout out, man, because I think this has kind of described you. Oh, you're so bad. <laughs> to a T. Throw an ice cube in this. Let us know what you think. Annie, toast right. us. Uh, may your heart stay young. The whiskey be I old. So it. <laughs> the cork loose and the adventures bold. See you tomorrow. I almost said. <laughs>